Okay, g'day guys, welcome back to episode 3 of the True Footy AFL Evo 2 Career Mode. Today we are taking on the St. Kilda Saints at Marvel Stadium in what appears to be a closed roof, because I'm pretty sure this game is meant to be during the day. Uh, actually, no, that looks like it's open, doesn't it? Um, yeah, well, there you go. Either way, we're playing at night under lights to some extent. I have made three changes to this side today. Josh Kennedy has re received a one-week injury, as has Jack Redden. So they're both out. I've also dropped Will Schofield. So Tom Cole comes in, Jackson Nelson as well. To, uh, because I just felt like the Saints don't really have any tall targets that really needed, um, you know, Schofield into the side. And I'm trying to remember, I think it was Petrocelli was the other one who came into the side, I think, just to give me a bit of a smaller forward line as well and a bit of speed. Bit different to the round one game against Melbourne, which we obviously won by 10 goals. Uh, by, by the way, I think I've worked out that's meant to be Waterman. Um... Obviously, this is in dry conditions today, so I'm going to keep it on the senior difficulty. Uh, despite a resounding win last week, I'm expecting to win this game as well. Um, but we'll just keep an eye on how easy I find it, because I want this career to be realistic as possible. Of course, we do sit with a percentage of 345% at the moment, so uh, if it stays that way for, let's say, a month of the season, um, maybe I will rethink that. But here we come up against the Saints, who narrowly lost their first game against North in pretty similar circumstances to the actual Round 1 game, um, I believe. I think it was 63-58 to 58 they lost. So um, they're going to be looking for a win today. Let's get into it, guys. Gee, it's good to see Nick Nat out there. Well in the first game. But obviously, he just got enough of the pill. Oh, goodness, he left his man for dead there. Tom Cole was left well and truly well behind his opponent, Jade Gresham. I'm going to keep an eye on that matchup because that was shameful. It was a really good kick inside 50. And unlike the Demons... Oh, he's missed. Marked by Gaffair. And, oh, good tackle. Saves the day. And he still can't get... On the goal sheet, St. Kilda, despite early dominance in this game. Oh, no. How's the ball ended up there? And then finally, a goal. Bradley Hill makes me, makes me pay. This is a really poor start from the Eagles. The Saints have been dominating. Oh, that is a good spot. Surely, surely, I can make something from this forward entry. Yes, all right. First shot on goal from Brendan Archie. This is an important kick. The Eagles need some momentum to go into this quarter time huddle. I don't think that's got the legs. It should do, actually. That should clear the line, and it has. Brendan Archie has proven himself to be a reliable operator so far in the, uh, in the preseason and the early part of the actual season. Oh, come on. They paid a 50 metre penalty to themselves because he walked into the mark. I don't know about that. But here we go. St. Kilda going to bob up for another behind. No, they've nailed this one. There we go. So they extend the lead to 10 points with a questionable free kick. Oh, Red Hill again. I'm going to have to change my tactics here. And I'm going to tag Brad Hill because at the moment it is not working. Opponent spare play in defense. Opponent spare play around ball. Tag spare. All right. So I'm basically going to play an extra an extra forward to tag Brad Hill. Oh, Petrocelli. Interestingly, doesn't get pinged for 50 there. All right. It's a territory game at the moment. Oh, that has bounced wildly. And Elliot Yo should get onto this. And he kicked the... Yeah, right. <laughs> Far out. Goodness me. Not too sure what happened there. Delivered out of bounds from Savage. I don't know if that's fair, but I'll take it. Now, I need to kick a banana here. All right, I'm still not good at... Uh, shit. Bees. But this is a must-needed kick from Archie. He kicked the first. I don't know if that's made it. 
That is paid it. It's a goal. Just snuck in through the goal post. And Archie has kicked a much needed goal. Again, just bobbing up right when we need him, right? Not too long before half time. And the Eagles go forward again. And oh, drops the sitter of a mark. And the Eagles can pinch one through Petrocelli. Goodness me. And just like that, I've hit the front. The Saints paying for their inaccuracy in front of goal. Just like that, that shoey clearance, that Waterman drop mark, and then the crumbs by Petricelli. And Archie, is he in a position to impact this contest? He's just bounced the wrong way for him. Can he chase? Surely, yes. Cripps takes the mark. Can't be long left in the half. This is an important kick right before half time, has he got the journey? That is gonna be tight, but I think he's got it. He has, that is a goal. And the Eagles are nine points in front in what is a very good last five minutes from them, kicking three quick goals as we watch this replay from Cripps on the mark of the 50, basically, on the line of the 50, and boom. Huge effort to withstand that pressure from the Saints. Got a bit of luck, absolutely, no doubt about that, with the Saints missing just about every shot. But we've pulled it back a little bit. The inside 50 is a bit more even. Disposals were ahead of. Uncontested possessions were ahead of, which is interesting. Nine handballs to three. I've made three handballs. That's how hot this footy is. I don't have time to actually handball it. It's actually quicker to get it onto your boot and belt it. Um, the hitouts are ridiculously disproportionate as usual. And the possession, I don't quite have as much of. Oh, come on. He gains possession. Power kicks hurriedly. Oh, the amount of uncontested marks they get, they burn me with. It's crazy. They spot a, a free man in my defensive half so easily. It's happened all game. And they should kick this because I've adjusted the settings, and they have. So it's back to a four point ball game. Three goals, four, is it? Three goals, six rather. Four goals, four. 50, which is important. Allen thrashes it. Oh, high tackle, surely. Yes, Shannon Hearn with a bit of luck for us to peg one back early in this third quarter and extend it back out to 10 points. That is crucial. All right, needs to go long with the kick. He has. Is there a target up there? There's no one tall. It's just all smalls. Oh, there's an opportunity here. Archie has kicked a goal, and that is his third for the day, I believe. Three goals, putting on a bit of a cleaning up for the Eagles. You know. What's happened there? I tackle here, right? Okay, so the Saints have an opportunity here to bring it back to 10 points. If the accuracy has been improved, it certainly has. Okay, so I think they're two goals straight since I improved the accuracy modifier. Take a mark, someone. Yes, Jake Waterman uncontested in the goal square from the Liam Ryan snap. And the Eagles get a little bit more breathing space once again. Back out to 16 points. And they are in control of this game in the third term. They've really lifted their intensity. I think in the midfield, that's where they're starting to get on top. Defense. Oh, there's always an extra saint at every contest. And Jade Gresham puts it through to make it back to 10 points. Can you tell? I'm finding that frustrating. Good luck involved there, and there's surely a mark coming. Hey, can't, wouldn't have been too many marks in this game. And there is an uncontested eagle. Jack Darling takes the mark. The eagles burn them on the rebound there. Finally, it's us who have uncontested marks forward of 50. We're in the forward 50 as Jack Darling puts it through back out to 17 points. And the Eagles, this Eagles side has a response for everything from the Saints. Oh no. And that is a defensive clanger from McGovern. Mostly my fault, I must say. I uh, spoiled way too early and messed it up. But that happens. And they're lining up for another shot on goal. They haven't missed since I adjusted it. And let's see if that changes now. He's missed again. So, okay, sweet. I think we're at a pretty good level as Hannabury records a behind. Right on the three-quarter time sign, of course. We go in 16 points in front with less inside 50s, I think, in that quarter. Oh, 
I didn't know I had the mark. <laughs> There's no way of knowing you get a mark until it's too late. My goodness. Poor clanger by me. God. Uncontested marks for the Saints. Wow. Five or six Saints and only one or two Eagles in that contest. Good tackle. And they've run into a fairly open goal. And the Saints have hit the front. Boys, what is going on? Lift your game. Nick Nat sends it long to Petrocelli, who finds himself in a mismatch. I don't know who that is on him, but in full forward playing deep, he has taken a good mark, and he should put this through, and the Eagles regain the lead. What a thriller we've got on our hands, boys. Petrocelli playing a tough role today, and he's stood up well, kicking two goals from just three possessions. Come on. Three kicks all going one way right at the minute. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. I do love a freak, a handball, but Shepard can run into a crucial goal. He's nearly missed that. But 10 points is the margin, a crucial goal for the Eagles. Those sharp turns. Oh, everyone stopped running. That's convenient. The loose ball picked up. Battle dismisses his opponent with the stain. He's getting a lot of the ball. Here we go. Tim Kelly, can he put the afterburners on? Can he do it for his new club? He can. The Eagles are 16 points ahead. What a crucial time of the game that is for a goal from their star player. And oh, so just like that, all of their players are forward of the ball. And Nat Nui takes a strong mark inside 50. He can take his time here. He's probably got the journey, I would say. And if he kicks it, it's out to 28 points just like that in a flash. And that is going to be touch and go. And it is a goal. Well, shepherded on the mark by Petricelli. And this game has blown out to 28 points. Very strong performance from Nat Nui today. In particular in the ruck, he's won a lot of clearances for them. So last is a time for a score here. They need a... They, there is, oh yes, uh, Alan, Sorry, I'm tripping over my words there, but ran into an open goal there, put in a very good performance today as the second ruck, and he can add a goal to his tally, which is a little bit more respectable, and he has kicked a point, and that sums up their afternoon, as the Eagles take a 33 point win to the bank, and that is a very good win, I'm pleased with the boys medal today, they were tested by the Saints, but they steadied and they won in what will be a very important four points for this finals race or even top four race depending on how ambitious you are. Nick Nat Nui has been given man of the match over Brad Hill, interestingly, and Jack Steele. Disposals for the Eagles, Archie had 12 possessions and three goals and didn't crack a vote. It is unlucky, but he will probably feature in the best and fairest this year. As you can see there, the Saints got the jump, the Eagles overcame him in the second term and then withstood a final term rush from the Saints to hit the lead before the Eagles kicked away with the final six goals of the game. Before we sign off guys, let's have a look at the ladder like we did last week and we are in second spot very comfortably with a healthy percentage of 215%. But next week is a huge test. We've got the Geelong Cats who sit in seventh spot having won one and lost one themselves. And that is a huge game on a Saturday night at Optus Stadium. Looking forward to having you guys join me for that episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.